You never know what's coming. Good things can be right around the corner. Last time we spoke, I wasn't sure about a lot of things in my immediate future, but I knew if I had faith, great faith, that things would work out, and they did. Got a new job, new teaching post. Dream job, dream job. Very happy about that. Started 24th of January, my new teaching post. I'm thrilled, 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 thrilled. I'm also thrilled that 50 pounds have been lost from this body since August 22nd. And um, also thrilled, went into the lab with the chairman of Spoken Word, laid down some stuff for his new album. Also thrilled that um, I'm going to be the first Spoken Word artist <coughs> featured at DBC Music Online. Their A&R people have been reaching out to me since uh, Christmas, working out some stuff. And <sighs> when it rains, it pours. And my cup runneth over. So I think having great faith and not letting dark moments get you down can make a world of difference. So, um, that's my thought for the day, this day, January 16th, 2011. Change is everywhere. And it's a good look. I'm very excited. Very excited. Very excited that I have this new shell that I'm in. And new work. New possibilities. Um, I'm really looking forward to this feature performance with LaVita Davis next Sunday night at El Rio in San Francisco. Really thrilled about that. I've never um, performed at El Rio as a poet. I've performed there a lot in my uh, singing days. Well, I still sing, but in my band days, I should say. Um, and I had um, a good time. And so it's going to be different to go back with kind of a new me, I guess. Um, <laughs> yeah, so um, I've been busy. I've been really busy, but really happy. And my show was great today with Eddie Oliver. Big ups to him. I asked him a great question today because I knew I'd get a great answer. And I asked him, what is a poet's responsibility? And he said, to inspire by any means necessary. And I asked him, what was not a poet's responsibility? And he said, to please anybody. Ditto. <laughs> Yay, Eddie Oliver. Um, he's great. He's great. He's great. So that was a good look and did some dog walking today. I love going to dog park. You guys I love dogs so much. And I'm sure you guys have heard me speak of my insane dog, Oreo, um, who will be getting a sister next month. Um, I love animals. I love surrounding myself with them. I have a 16-year-old cat named Buttermilk and a 3-year-old insane lab border collie mix named Oreo. Had to put um, a dog down about two years ago and um, our other kitty passed away um, a year ago. So time to get the family up and running again. We're going to get a new pup, a border collie pup and chickens in the backyard. Yes, we have decided to name them Smothered, Baked, and Fried. Darlando, my beloved friend, is like, he thinks I should name them Tandoori and Cacciatore and Parmesan, I think it is. And of course, he's threatened. He and Lyrical Toy threatened me many times to come to my house and cook my chickens, which isn't going to happen because they're my pets. So, <laughs> I love animals and I wish I had more bunnies and chameleons and I just love animals they're um, faithful so good things happening everywhere I want to share that with you um, and that's about it I'm about to go get down in that kitchen um, they're expecting some salmon and asparagus and brown rice I believe tonight and um, I'm gonna you know <laughs> it's Sunday it's no work tomorrow holiday happy birthday Martin Luther King Jr. So, I'm going to sign off and say goodbye, and you all have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful night. See ya. Bye.